Hey guys, this is Colin Edge. I'm with Covenant Worship, and I'm going to show you how to play First Love Me. This song is in D major, which is a perfectly easy key to play in in guitar, but for whatever reason, as soon as I heard the song, I was like, I want to capo this and play it in C. Um, just sometimes you capo for just for the sake of the harmonization of the chords, the, the texture just feels better in the song. I can't explain it, but I, uh, I tracked this song on the album and I capoed too and played it in C. There's just so many pretty chord voicings, um, so that's why I go with that. This song is very straightforward, um, so I'm basically just strumming chords the whole time. Since it's a ballad, you don't want to do anything too distracting. Um, and uh, anytime I play an F, I don't play it like that. I go ahead and just let off on that high E string because it makes an F major seven, which is really beautiful. I know some people like to play uh, the root with their thumb. I never do. You don't have to. Usually the bass player will hold, on, hold down that root. Um, some of the chords to look out for are just basic ones in C, D minor, A minor, G. That's kind of bum, 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 bum. That's sort of like the theme of the motif of the song that we go back to all the time. That's the only thing to look out for now. On some of the down choruses where it's soft, which the first two choruses are down, they go to the audience to sing. I arpeggiate, and there's sort of a difference between an arpeggio and arpeggiating. Um, arpeggiating is more of a loose guitar technique, which means you just play a chord and pick out certain notes in it. So that's arpeggiating right there, as opposed to an arpeggio, which is like a C chord. That's an arpeggio. Um, so technically, there's the theoretical difference, and I, I do a lot of, that's why I love C, because you can make some very uh, pretty arpeggio sounds. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into this song uh, and play along. If you need the chart, you can buy it at praisecharts.com. Here we go. This is First Love Me. A minor, G sus to a G. I like to throw the suspended chords in there. Again, C. D minor, I'm kind of doing diamonds here. G sus to a G. Here's the verse. Arpeggiating. Strum it out here. Let's do straight eight strumming here. Really even strums, really soft. A minor with C. Arpeggiate on the down chorus. Here we go. Back to strumming there. Here's the verse, C. Sometimes I like to take the third off. Here's to the G, which is actually an A. D minor. A minor. This is kind of the straight eight strumming. Back to arpeggiating. F major seven. D minor. To C. A minor. A minor seven. G. Back to this motif theme. D minor. A minor. G. Double chorus. Gonna start building here. Straight eight strumming. Jesus, I love you. Seven. Here's F, G. Hit a C and let it go. It's 
might be my favorite part in the song. It just kind of pauses in the piano. Just kind of take a say la moment. Let's wait on the piano here. Nothing can tear me away from your so this is kind of the exposition of the bridge section, which is the same chords we were doing for that little motif vamp. C, D minor, A minor, G, which is actually D, E minor, B minor, A. Let's jump in here. Diamonds, D minor, A minor, G sus to a G, C, D minor, A minor to the G, C, D minor, A minor to the G. Now we do a turnaround, F, D minor, and we keep that going, back to the C. You can get a little more chuggy with the strumming. That. F to the D minor. We're going to do it once more. Hold the D minor. Chorus. Arpeggiating F. D minor. C. A minor. having fun with some of these chords, experiment with it on your own. C, D minor, A minor. Build it really softly at first, D minor. Straight into the bridge coming up here. Real big. C. C. C minor. A minor. F. Here's the turn around. D minor. Another bridge. I would almost just leave this chorus alone. This is really soft. Jesus. Kind of final chorus. Let the piano carry this section. Now, if you're the only one in your church playing and you maybe don't have a strong piano player, then you'll want to go back to the arpeggiating. Song ends right here on a C. If you want, you can kind of glitter that back in. It's really a beautiful song. I hope you have fun playing it. I hope it goes great for you. Thanks for watching.